Five years ago today, three people were killed, two more injured when a gunman opened fire inside of the Fifth Third Bank building in the heart of the Queen City. Our Join the Lines joins us live this morning from Fountain Square to explain, explain how their lives are continuing to be honored. Absolutely, yeah, Andrea, I know that every year since 2018, we've been out here. Here we are on the fifth year anniversary. I think that so many of us Cincinnatians can remember where we were when we got that text, when we got that phone call about what was happening at 9.06 on September 6, 2018. One of the people who was most impacted by that very day actually joining me now. Uh, Waller Austin, I'll ask you to come in and talk with us again. Thank you for speaking with us this morning. Tell me a little bit about, I know that you're the co-founder of, of uh, Whitney Strong. Tell us a little bit about about Whitney Strong, about your wife, about your efforts. So um, Whitney was unfortunately shot uh, on September 6, 2018, um, and but luckily miraculously survived. And uh, in the hospital, pretty much immediately after the shooting, we were just thinking about what can we do. We were we were just kind of. Uh, motivated with just righteousness and how can we help how can we stop this from happening happening to others so we have we dove deep into the the gun violence area and are just really trying to do whatever we can to prevent and end gun violence ultimately Absolutely. Um, so whitney strong was founded in the wake of the shooting and so we are a research education and legislation based group that is all bipartisan led. So it's uh, we really are just trying to bring people, everyone together to solve this widespread problem. Absolutely. And, and with it being five years, does it feel like five years ago? Does it feel like it was yesterday or another lifetime? Well, our lives have definitely changed quite a bit. Um, so, so much has happened since, but it, it really, honestly, it just, it does feel like yesterday. You know, it's kind of tra trauma is just one of those things that's it's so close it feels like you know it could have just happened this morning yeah you know? yeah absolutely well thank you so much not only for talking with us this morning but for all of the efforts all that you're doing uh, here in cincinnati and again a continued effort and you know fifth year now running so thank you we you're appreciate welcome. you thank yeah you. yeah absolutely all righty so actually we'll shake on air um but uh, yeah thank you all again so this is all part of the uh the whitney strong organization uh, that, that's been setting up the folks that we've been talking with throughout the morning and again just kind of uh, paying tribute and, and really just wanting to make sure that we never forget that we keep remembering that we keep honoring the victims the survivors their families and actually at 906 this morning we just learned this at 906 they are going to be holding uh, a moment of silence inside of the fifth third building again to honor those victims uh, and survivors as well for now i'll send it back to you in the studio